How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Another informational video today regarding all of the new cars that we are getting over the next month from the Forzathon challenges and also the DLC cars. Now before I get advanced into today's video, I would just like to quickly announce that I'm starting up a second channel. There's loads more games that I would love to play on this channel, but because of the YouTube algorithm, I can't really risk playing other games to get lower views or ruin my future views and stuff like that. So I've started up a second channel, it's called Zexon, which is my Xbox gamer tag. We're hopefully going to be playing lots of Black Ops 4, because I'm really good at that. I was, I was number one in the world back on Black Ops 3 for the game mode I played. So I'm pretty good at Black Ops 4 as well, and we're going to be playing all sorts of other games. I may do a little bit of a giveaway when we get to a thousand subscribers. But anyway, if you want to sub to the channel, a link will be in the description. As I said, it's called Zexon. Every now and then, Forza themselves do update live streams where they basically showcase every single feature that's coming in an upcoming update. And a couple of days ago, we had the Update 5 live stream, and within it, they showcased 12 of the new cars, meaning four Forzathon cars and eight DLC cars, which matches up to the whole month. They showed us what each of the cars would be. So today, I'm going to be telling you and showing you what the 12 cars we are getting are, which of the 12 are Forzathon cars, and which of the 12 are DLC cars for the car pass owners. Now, I believe the first ones will be available tomorrow, which will be Thursday, and then the rest will be next week week and next week and so on and so on. Now obviously Tuesday is when we get all the Mitsubishis and the actual update however Thursday which is tomorrow this is when we're going to get all of the DLC cars and the Forzathon cars that's what I think anyway. I'm going to start with the Forzathon or event cars. Over the next month each week we're going to get access to one of these four cars we don't know which ones yet. However, the Hot Wheels 2002 Rip Rod is coming back. This is one of the only Hot Wheels cars left to come back in the game. And within the next four weeks, this car will be available in either the Forzathon shop or through one of the championship event challenges. The next one is the Hot Wheels Ford Mustang. Now, this is my favourite Hot Wheels car, sheer because of the look of it and the sound of it. I'm hoping they haven't changed the car sound of this because it sounded absolutely insane on Horizon 3. But this car will also be another Forzathon or event car challenge, which I'm really looking forward to this one. This one's going to be good, and I'm glad that it's free for everyone, technically, anyway. The third one is La Maserati S Levante 2017 car. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is just a, a big 4x4 Maserati by the looks of it. Pretty cool looking car. Looking forward to this one. This will also be one of the challenges. And the fourth one is the Mercedes-Benz 1969 280 SL. Sorry, went a bit all over the place then. But those are the four cars that we're going to get from Forzathon challenges and championship events. Now let's head on to the eight cars that we're getting with the car pass, two per week for the next four weeks. We're getting the Ford Transit Van, the 1965 one, the one that looks really weird. This is coming as a DLC car. We're getting the Ford Mustang Fastback GT, 1968, a pretty classic looking Mustang, looking forward to that one. We're getting the IMP Hillman, 1966, little diddy car, looks pretty cool. Now for the better ones, we're getting the Honda NSX RGT 2005. There was a very, very small amount of these cars ever made, and I'm not sure that anyone really knows where they are. But that's going to be really cool to drive around in the game as a DLC car for one of the weeks. Bear in mind, I'm not sure we know which week has these cars yet. So, for example, we could be getting the two rubbish cars for the first week, or we could get two good cars for the first week. We don't know which is which yet. But at some point, we're getting all of these. And then we're getting the 1929 Mercedes-Benz Supersport Curs Barker Roadster. That's a bit of a mouthful, but that's also looking pretty cool. Reminds me of the old Bugatti and the old the other old Mercedes-Benz anyway. That's coming at some point. We're also getting the Opel Cadet A 1963. Now, if anyone watches Top Gear, this is also known as Oliver. Now, another cool one, we're getting the 911 Carrera S Porsche 2019 version. Quite a different looking 911, they've really pushed up the looks on this one, I'm looking forward to getting this one, this is one of my favourites, along with the uh, the Mustang and the, what do you call it, the Honda NSXR, that's it. And the last DLC car we're getting is the 1993 Porsche 968 Turbo S, another pretty nice looking car. So as I said, over the next month, starting January 17th I believe, yes, I've just checked my calendar. 
Each week we'll get two of the DLC cards available to all car pass owners along with one of the four uh, Thon slash event cards available for free for all um, owners of Forza Horizon 4, not just car pass owners. And I've got to say they're still bringing out some pretty cool cars in the car packs. Obviously the, I can see that they're, they're chucking in the odd weird car like the, the Hillman IMP. It's still a pretty cool car. But I'm sure there's more people interested in such as the NSXR, for example. I think they've run out of Hot Wheels cars to add. I'm so glad they've added the Ford Mustang. I've been waiting for that for a while. But um, I'm glad they've added Oliver as well. I'm, I'm definitely going to be playing around in Oliver. But yeah, I'm not going to drag along for too long. Those are the 12 new cars that we're getting over the next month in Forza Horizon 4. And as also, we're getting the Mitsubishi cars as well, which have already technically came out. But yeah, that's basically it. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, let me know what your car that you're looking forward to the most in the description is, or in the comment section I have to say. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all in the next video.